Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's mani, we're going to mix it up and we're going to use some gels and dip powders from Sundara Nails to create the Day 21 Halloween Series mani today. I'm so excited for this one. Before we get started, I did go ahead and apply a layer of gel base on all the nails that we're applying that gel polish to and I cured for 30 seconds. Now we're diving in to Gomez, which check out this coverage and how creamy this gel polish right here, it's HEMA 21 free. If you've ever suffered from a gel allergy, these gels from Sandara Nails are gonna be your new best friend. They're amazing, they do not have a strong chemical scent. The coverage you get, it is phenomenal. They glide onto the nail. The formula is absolutely amazing. I cannot stress enough on how amazing these products are from Sandara Nails. And you can see here, it's not streaky or patchy or anything like that. And you really can almost like if you wanted to rock this with one coat you totally could because it is like that full coverage but this color right here it is perfect it is part of a new color for the Halloween gel polish collection and this color it just like to me screams Halloween it has like this slight gray undertone it's more of like a, a zombie ish kind of green perfect the name Gomez like from the Adams family I feel like is like perfect for this this color alone but now we're gonna go ahead we cured each coat for 30 seconds and I'm gonna do one other coat here just to just bring out this Gomez color just a little bit more again completely optional it was very full coverage with that first coat here but I'm just doing another coat here and we're gonna cure as we go here today for 30 seconds if you are looking for a nail lamp the Sandara nail lamp is phenomenal I do have that linked in the description box below all right, so we're finishing up here with that second coat and then we're going to move on to a dip powder that I feel like really is going to enhance Gomez, that gel polish, even more for two reasons. Well, Gomez has like these, this like beautiful green to it, but the dip powder that we're using is, it has a black base, but then it has like the most beautiful spooky green, like fine sparkle to it. But yet the sparkle is not that overpowering. It's like just the am right amount of sparkle like ratio to like this dark base that we have here but how gorgeous is this I love that dark base it's rich and it it's just like it's not um doesn't have like that white grayishness to it sometimes when you're dipping into dip powders that are have a dark base and have glitter in them you're picking up more of like that clear so it kind of gives you like this um whitish grainy effect to it but not with this it's just giving you like all that good dark base and sparkle so I did cure that for 30 seconds and we're just gonna go in with another dip here and I am using the gel base uh, for this method I am NOT using dip liquids but you totally could switch it up and use dip liquids if you prefer but I really enjoy the gel method especially with the gels from Sandara nails because they're also HEMA free all right so that second dip, it's a total game changer. You get this rich dark blackness to the nail, but yet you have like this perfect green sparkle, which I feel just like ties in perfectly with that gel polish. And you can really see that color difference there with two dips versus the one, but overall such a great color. This color came out last year during Halloween. It's still available. So if you have your eye on any of the past Halloween stuff, definitely do not wait. Halloween is fast approaching. It's already October 4th, so it's going to be here before you know it. Plus, the colors that we're using today are not only good for spooky season, they're really awesome colors just to help um, build your collection. All right, so we're going in, filing and buffing. All I'm doing is filing and buffing the nails that we have the dip powder on, and I'm just gently cleaning up the sidewalls, the free edge, and just reshaping a little bit. But here's what it looks like before we go ahead and add the decals. Now, before we go in with the decals, I am going to do a layer of gel base on all the nails, and I am going to cure for 30 seconds. I am curing as we go. Also, you'll notice that I did skip that dip powder nail. That's because when I'm working with gels and dips, especially dip powders that have a glitter to it, I just want to focus on that gel first. And then once I do the base on all the gels, I'll go in and seal everything up on those dip powder nails just to prevent any contamination. And then I always wipe off my brush with a paper towel before I go ahead and stick it back into that jar. All right, so these decals are from Nails Truly. If you didn't know, Nails Truly and Sandara Nails also did a really fun Halloween collab. It is a Wednesday Adams inspired collab and also a Ghostbusters inspired collab and those collections are still available and you can get exclusive decal sheets as well and also it comes with a cuticle oil so that's also still available at Sundar Nails. We did a couple manis on my channel 
with the Wednesday collection and the Ghostbusters. Overall, so fun. So now what I'm doing, we went ahead and applied that decal, but I wanted to fill in these little like dots in that potion with the Wednesday gel polish. And I thought this color was perfect because I didn't want too much sparkle. And this has like a seashell finish. So I felt like it just added a little bit of pop of color, but yet it gave it a little bit of glisten to it too with that seashell effect. So then I cured for 30 seconds. We're gonna finish up the other nail here with some skulls. Now, originally I was gonna do like one skull like right at the tip of the nail. And by the way, the nails that we're using today are in the shape medium coffin from Sundar Nails. They are by far phenomenal. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and just put three skulls on this nail and kind of do like a fun design. I also considered layering a whole bunch of skulls with these method. Um, I just thought that would be cool too, but I really liked how it turned out. There's something about this color that we're using Gomez with these decals that have the black outline that just give it like this spooky effect. So you can easily get a really fun Halloween Manny with just colors on its own and you don't need to necessarily add any nail art or decals if you don't want. You could just totally rock spooky season colors and that's also a really fun way to get into the Halloween spirit. Okay, so I am taking my flat brush here that has a little bit of acetone here and just gently pressing down those decals. And since I do have some of that decal sheet hanging over the free edge, I'm also cleaning that up as well. If you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial on decal placements, check out my other videos. I will say I do have a addiction when it comes to decals. So there are tons of videos on my channel with application of decals. I just feel like adding the decal to a Manny is kind of a simple way to implement some nail art that's kind of effortless in my opinion. So I am gonna go ahead and do the thumbnail decal placement. We're gonna do the exact same thing with the skulls off camera just to save some time. And then I am gonna go ahead and finish up this Manny. Once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and seal it with a layer of gel base here for 30 seconds. And then to finish up everything, we're gonna go in right here with my favorite gel top coat. This is also from Sundara Nails, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the entire nail. Make sure you cap those free edges. And here's the finished Manny after we cured for 60 seconds. I love this so much. I feel like it's simple, but yet there's something about these colors that just are giving me all those spooky Halloween vibes. And Gomez is such a gorgeous gel polish, and I feel like the creature, that dip powder, really pulls in the um, gel polish that we use with those beautiful green sparkles in there. Overall, so fun. All right, so this was day 21 of the 31 Days of Halloween series here on my channel. That image that you saw pop up, that is your image for the entry for that Google form. Again, don't forget to fill out that Google form for each video in the Halloween series. Technically, you can get 31 entries. And send our nails is also part of this giveaway. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this, Manny. Everything we use can be found in that description box below. And I'll see you all in the next spooky one.